it's me, TD. It's the last episode of 2021. Can you believe it? That's right, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of the Todd Erkin Impact Show. And I can't believe it. I can't believe that this is the last episode of 2021. 52 Smackaruby episodes. And I want to know which ones were your favorite. Yep, I want to know which one of your 52 this year alone were your, actually there are more than 50, 52 episodes uh, this year, but check it out, all of the 2021, which ones resonated with you the most? My friends, today I'm going to share my top five lessons of 2021. I'm sure you have been reflecting on your year. I know if you're anything like me, you're super fired up for 2022. It can't come fast enough, but uh, man, oh man, I cannot wait for 22 to get here. And uh, two things before I hop into today's top five lessons of 2021. Number one, I hope right now that you're working on your God-sized dreams planner, your annual strategic plan. These are the 25 questions that I have posed to you in the planner that allows you to A, reflect on 21, Two, to really forge ahead and look into 2022 and and creating and manifesting what you want in 2022. And part three of that in the planner is your life. What are you preparing for now, this year coming up? This is a great week between Christmas and New Year's is an awesome week to really get some quiet time. As a matter of fact, as you listen to this, I am in the mountains of Montana. Yup. I am out in the snow climbing mountains in Montana as you listen right now. And I'm working on my GSD planner 2022. Uh, get it today. If you haven't already, just go to toddrickin.com, order it, get it and uh, start to work on your business, your life, your relationships, and all aspects of how you can create massive impact this year in 2022. And also, today's episode is sponsored by my friends at Bub's Naturals. Yup, you better believe it. I carry to Montana the MCT oil powder, the apple cider vinegar vi- gummies, and the collagen protein. Yep, they're in the bag. Melanie was like, don't forget the Bub's. Don't worry, honey. I won't. I've got it all there. Folks, you got to get on the bubs. If you have not tried it yet, try it. If you've tried it, I know you're reordering because you love it so much. The collagen protein, it is fantastic. It's great for joint health. It's great for recovery. It's great for your your hair, your nails, and your skin, and of course, your digestive health. Get that. The MCT oil powder, you want it. It's good for your energy. Does anyone else want great energy these days? Anyone else? Anyone else? Mental focus, gut health, and your immune system. You know that. And the apple cider vinegar gummies, give it a shot. Go to bubsnaturals.com. And if you want 20% off, yes, two zero. I'm, I love the number 10, but Bub's like, no, we got to give them 20%. It's the holidays. Okay, then hit in impact when checking out impact for 20% off Bub's Naturals. Uh, check out, be sure to follow them over at Bub's Naturals or go to the website, bubsnaturals.com and uh, get your get your goodies today here so you can go into 2022 raring to go. Impact is the code for 20% off. Thank you, Bub's Naturals, for powering today's episode. Without further ado, today's episode is all about my lessons learned. Have you all learned a lot of lessons in 2021? I got to be honest with you. I am going to share from the heart. Uh, I thought 2020 was the toughest year of my life, 2020. And um, man, when I was reflecting on 2021, it was a whirlwind of a year. There were lots of highs. There were there were some lows, and there were a lot of lessons learned. Some reinforced, and some brand new. But I'm going to share from my heart. Some of these you may have heard me talk about. Some of them you may have not heard me talk about because some of them are near and dear to my heart. And uh, I'm in major review mode, as I just mentioned. As you listen to this episode, I am in the in the mountains of Montana, working my own God sized dreams right now, and uh, really reflecting on 2021 and the many blessings that it brought, but also looking forward to 2022. Uh, one thing I could tell you is there certainly have been some tough times, some challenging times in 2021. I find that people, people are all over the place. Can I get an amen on that? Anybody? It's just right now in the top of your lungs, say, amen, TD, amen. 
People are all over the place. Uh, there's a new set of mandates here in California. People are cray cray. Uh, heck, even some of our, 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 our folks up in the, uh, the, the office are a little cray cray. Uh, but can you figure them out? I can. So I just know this. Uh, I keep saying that we are in interesting times. I got to dial in those habits that are going to allow me and hopefully that allow you to be the best version of yourself. With that being said, I, I don't know how I'm going to boil this down to five, but I've got five lessons I want to share today. So whether you're climbing mountains in the snow, you're downhill skiing, listen to this on the ski lift, or you're out for a run, you're at the beach, you're in Hawaii, wherever you are all over the world. Um, my first lesson is this broken or blessed. Choose one. Are you broken or you're blessed? Now I share this with you as a lesson because it's all about perspective. Let me share a story with you here about broken or blessed because in 2021, there were times when I felt completely broken and there are times like right now where I feel completely blessed. Step back a few years. I was playing professional football over in Europe. I was playing in France. I know y'all have heard of the can iron masks. That's right, the can iron mask. I was 25 years old. I was playing football, American football, in the south of France. And on this February afternoon, we were playing a team in Aix-en-Provence, France. And in that in that game, I ended up getting injured in the third quarter. I was a quarterback, and I did a hook slide to avoid getting hit after I picked up the first down on third and 12. And two linebackers came in and sandwiched their helmet in my back. And the diagnosis was three herniated discs, spinal stenosis, degenerative back disease. And the doctor said, uh, Z, you have a back problem. Z, football career is over. I said, that's not good. Because from the age of five to 25, I had one dream. And that dream was to be a professional football player, ideally in the NFL. And that dream never happened because of the injury. And the reason I share that is because looking back, looking back now, uh, well, that was in 1995. That was over 25 years ago that it became one of my biggest blessings. That injury allowed me to go on this five-year journey to heal my own back pain without having surgery. And I met many mentors. I lived in 12 cities in less than five years. And I met gurus and healers and coaches and different folks that were all about healing and performance. And, and in January of 2000, when I opened my gym, my studio here in San Diego, California called Fitness Quest 10, it really was on the, the art of trying to combine the best of the Western world and the Eastern world of healing. And I did that. And for the last 22 years, heck, it'll be 22 years here, the uh, January 1st, 2022, it'll be 22 years when I opened up. But why do I share? Well, because my back was one of the biggest blessings of my life after I became broken. Step back a couple of years ago from now, in November 2018, I had a knee replacement surgery on my right knee. It needed it. I was bone on bone for 10 years, and I got the knee surgery, and I felt like a million bucks. Two years later, just a year ago, December 5th, 2020, December 5th, 2020, I actually had my left knee replaced as well. Now, here I am, 50 years old, need a second knee replacement, my right knee, my, my left knee, but I got to be honest with you. The reason why I got that was because I was bone on bone now on my left knee, and my wife and I were talking like, man, if we get this thing done six weeks later, I'm going to have two new knees. I'm going to feel like a million bucks. We're coming out of the pandemic. I'm going into 2021 with two brand new knees. I'm going to feel like a million bucks. Watch out world. Here I come. <laughs> Sometimes God's got a different plan. Well, in December, 2020 and early this year, January, 2021, I was rehabbing my knee. And all of a sudden in six weeks after the surgery, I start feeling my back hurt. I talked to my physical therapist, Martin. I said, Hey, my back's been hurting me. And, uh, we start doing some rehab on my back and getting some soft tissue on my back. It's getting worse and worse and worse. And my back is really flared up. I'm like, wait a second. I've got two brand, brand new knees. Well, 
What happened in these surgeries was because I was so bow legged. If you ever saw me in person, I was very bow legged. They shaved uh, some degrees off my my knee so I could be more straight. I would go from like six foot to six foot two, my natural height. Well, what happened was as we shaved off the degrees off my right knee and then my left knee, what I didn't know was that my back was taking the brunt of it because. I had already had some scoliosis in my back that I had not had checked out since, well, honestly, since the mid-1990s when that back injury initially happened. So fast forward to my 20th, my 20th wedding anniversary, February 17th, 2021. I got an x-ray on my back. My friends, I haven't shared this publicly um, on my podcast, I did so at my impact event here in San Diego. But when I saw the x-ray of my back, I couldn't believe that was my back. The doctor said, did you serve in Afghanistan? What happened to your back? <laughs> my answer was, I wish I could have said, yes, yes, I did serve in Afghanistan because of 42 degrees uh, curvature of the spine all of my discs and my lumbar spine were obliterated. Uh, everything is compressed. And I was in extreme pain. As a matter of fact, so much to the point that in February of 2021, I was on my anniversary trip for my 20th anniversary in misery because of my back pain. Just had two new knees. My back is killing me. And here I am uh, just you know months before saying, world, you know, all the trainers and all the folks get on my back, get on my back, get on my back. Well, what I didn't realize was my back was breaking and I had to get my mind right because I don't know if you've ever been in pain before. Maybe you are today or maybe you have been before, but have you ever tried to serve people admirably when you're in physical pain? It's hard because your energy is shot because your mindset is like, you just care about trying to get out of back pain. And I remember trying to go live sometimes and serve my team at Fitness Quest 10 and get on these podcasts in 2020 and fire people up. It was, it was the only time I actually felt good when I was doing that. For nine months, nine months from February to August of 2021, I was broken. I was physically broken. My back was killing me. And I was going on trips to New Jersey with my family. We had a trip to Mexico. And let me tell you what, on one of my trips to Mexico at 2.30 in the morning, when you almost have to call an ER in, in Mexico, you know your back is hurting when you almost have to call an ER and say, I don't care if I had to have surgery in Mexico. Um, it was bad. When I had to drop my son Luke off at college uh, and I was in pain, let me uh, think about this. When you say blessed or broken, broken or blessed, fortunately, in August 2021, I was, I was made up in my mind that I was going to have surgery. I was going to have a fusion in my back. I was going to let the doctor, after seeing many, many, many different back specialists, uh, I was ready. And then God took over. I leaned into God more than ever before. Next thing I know, my back stopped hurting. Here, I, as you listen to this on December 27th or any time here at the end of the year of 2021, I report to you that fortunately through the grace of God that I am not in pain. And I spent a lot of 2021 in pain and I didn't want to share it with the world. Why? Because I didn't want you saying, how's your back? How's your back? How's your back? Because if you've ever been in pain before, you become your pain because people just ask, how's your pain doing? How's your knee doing? How's your back doing? And I said, you know what? I'm more than my back. I'm a spirit, I'm a soul, and I'm going to show up for the world because I am way bigger than the pain. Yeah, sometimes your pain becomes your purpose. Sometimes your biggest brokenness becomes your biggest blessing. And if I share once again for the 15th time this year, if you saw the size of the blessing coming, you'd understand the magnitude of the battle you're fighting. Let me report, let me repeat that again because I use this and I posted it in my home office. I've got it everywhere. If you saw the size of the blessing coming, you would understand the magnitude of the battle you're fighting. I want y'all to know, just like you, I've been fighting battles too. I had to overcome this back pain that maybe in 2022 may be something I've got to deal with on a bigger basis. And that's okay. Because when you put your faith in God, you put your faith in higher things, then all of a sudden you can handle it. 
So are you broken or are you blessed? It's all about perspective. And while there were many times in 2021, I felt like I was broken, I always kept coming back to what are the blessings? What are the greatest blessings in my life? Who are the people in my life? What's in my life that I can really find gratitude in? And my plea with you on lesson number one, broken or blessed is, I want you right now, if you are broken in any way, physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually, I want you to know that I have been with you. I have been with you through every darn episode with you, but you gotta show up when you need to show up. You gotta show up when you're not feeling your best. You show up and you do what you gotta do based on your purpose, not on your pain. You don't let pain define you. And you don't become your pain. You don't live in that nasty loop of your pain. And you become your pain. You become your purpose. You become your blessing. My friends, lesson number one, live being blessed, not being broken. Number two, patience in the gap. Patience in the gap. Do any of you feel like you're in a gap in life? See, I've shared all along in 2020 and 2021, I have made some shifts in my career, in my life to help get to where I want to go based on the whispers. I keep saying tap into the whispers. Well, maybe you're in a gap and it's hard to be patient. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I am not the most patient person. When I want something done, we're going to get it done. Come hell or high water, we get it done. And sometimes my team laughs at me, but hey, when you got an expectation, I just shared on the Jim Rome show, the standard is the standard. What's your standard? I'm not going to lower my standards to the world standards. If your standard is your standard, what's your standard? Write your standards down. Patience in the gap is this. Where are you going? When you look at the front windshield, where are you going? And when you keep looking forward, you're either going to be propelled by hope for the future or you're stuck in a quagmire of mediocrity. You're either stuck in a quagmire of mediocrity or you're going to be propelled by hope in the future, knowing that the best is yet to come. I'm not going to be uh, all ballyhooed by the last 25 years of success in the fitness industry or speaking or writing. No, 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 no. I'm not going to say from 25 from that back injury to now I've had a certain level of success. I believe as I approach my 50s and beyond, the next 25 years of my life will be the best 25 years of my life. Are you with me? You feel me on that? So if you're in a gap in your life, and maybe the gap's gonna last three months, maybe it's gonna last a year or three years or five years, whatever the gap is, three things. Do the work on you. Do work on you. And that's the hard part. You got to work on yourself. It never, ever stops. Whatever that takes. I'm talking, do the work that's uncomfortable on yourself. Maybe it's in your relationship. Maybe a relationship is failing. Do the work on your relationship. Maybe your physical health is failing. Do what you got to do. If you got to navigate and quarterback your health and see multiple doctors and get MRIs and die scans and everything else that I've had to do in 21, then do it. Because your physical health matters. Your mental health matters. Number two, be more inspired by where you're going than where have you been. Be more inspired by where you're going than where you've been. Hey, listen, there's nothing wrong with looking in the rearview mirror and reflecting on the past. As a matter of fact, as you listen to this, I want you to reflect on your 2021. I want you to look back. But I don't want to stuck in, in reverse mode and looking back at the last year, the last five years, the last 10 years, the last 25 years, and all those great memories, man. I love memories. Memories are great. But let's be led by our dreams more than our memories. Thank you, Pastor David Jeremiah. Thank you, Dr. J. Let's not be led by our memories, but be led by our dreams. And number three, do work that matters. When I talk about patience in the gap, the third aspect of that is, how do you have patience in the gap? You do work that matters. Because when you're serving others, your heart is filled up. And when your heart is filled up, this is a good thing. Now, patience in the gap takes time. We always want it tomorrow or next month. Win the day. The win the day mentality is gonna get you far through the patience in the gap. Hang in there. Brighter days are coming. Know that 2022 is almost here. Have patience in the gap. 
Number three of my five lessons here of 2021 is this. We need more connect time with people. More connect time with people. Now think about this. How and where do you connect with people? For me right now, as you listen to this, I've got my family in a cabin in Montana. Man, I love the mountains. Let me repeat. I love the mountains. When I look back at my my credo, my mantra, and I look at my decree for life, I someday want to spend more time in snow-filled mountains when I'm skiing or I'm hiking in the mountains. I love that. I've got my family there right now between Christmas and New Year's where we can really spend time and connect as a family. Sometimes the connection of your family means you got to disconnect with your phones. Can I get an amen to that? Any parents out there? Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Matter of fact, we are going to have times here in the Durkin household this week that like there's no phone time. We're going to have my 13-year-old daughter, my 6-year-old, my 19-year-old, and Melanie and I. No phones allowed. Oh, that's going to be good connect time. So connect with your families. And sometimes that means disconnecting with your team. You know, at Fitness Quest 10 and in Todd Durkin Enterprises on the corporate side and speaking, how do you connect I find that right now connection comes in the everyday conversations. It comes with connecting with your eyes as well as your ears. As you listen with your ears, listen with your eyes. This is a beautiful time of the year to slow down and to to listen and to connect with your teams. I'm really excited as I work on my God-sized dreams planner. I'm excited for live events in 2022. At the end, tail end of 2021, we, we were, we had a live event in Providence, Rhode Island with Perform Better. We had a live event in Austin, Texas with Principal. And I've got a lot of live events coming up in 2022. And I am so excited to connect with people live. Now I got to be honest with you. The first time in stage on stage, it was a little awkward again. I was like, wow, we got 180 people all in this audience and, and they were laughing and they're smiling and high-fiving like, hallelujah, thank God we got live connect time. But there was always, there was almost a sense of apprehension. Folks, we got to break that. We got to get back to live connecting and not being scared of to be live again. And some of our introverted friends, God bless you all, you introverts, I love it. But some people are too comfortable being in their homes, not connecting. Are you shaking your head saying yes? Are you? Can you feel me? And if you're an introvert, I love you. I love you all, all of you. But let's make sure that we don't get too comfortable being stuck in our home because as human beings, we need to connect. My mom's 87 years old and my mom, she's connecting with our family. Get out there, mom. Keep connecting. It's life. It's spirit. It's energy. You know, when I was on a flight here recently uh, going back east, I had the opportunity uh, to run into a woman who was 87 years old. Her name was Lena. And Lena um, was, uh, her, her flight like mine going to Nashville was canceled. And I saw Lena, uh, them tell Lena her flight was canceled. Well, lo and behold, when I got onto my new flight, guess who sat next to me? Lena. Lena looked just like my mom. She was 87 years old and she told me she was going to see her kids out here in California for the last time. I said, what do you mean your last time, Lena? She's like, well, I'm 87 years old. I don't know if I can keep flying. My body doesn't feel like it used to. My energy isn't. And I felt like I was talking to my mom and I loved it. I turned my phone off. I didn't do any work and I just connected with Lena. And let me tell you what, that was the best plane ride of my life. For four hours to Nashville, I connected with Lena and I gifted her my Catch Your Mind, my book, because she told me she loved to read Christian um, nonfiction. And I was like, man, I got something for you, Lena. And we had a great time. I'd be, I was pushing Lena in a wheelchair through the airport. Folks, just connect with other human beings. People who could do you absolutely no good. People in the grocery store. Last I checked, we could all use another smile. We could all use uh, uh, you smiling at someone or someone smiling at you because the world has too much tension, too much anger, too much bigotry, too much hatred going on. Smile at people. To me, it's about connect time. It's about, as human beings, connecting with people. Number three on lessons learned is the value of connection is absolutely important. Which takes me to my fourth lesson of five. 
It's all about energy. 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 Where's your energy at today? As you listen to this on the last day of, or, or the last week of 2021, or maybe you're listening to this at the beginning of 2021 or 22, where's your energy at? What I'm finding is this. People are tired. People are frustrated. People are empty. Maybe you're a little burnt out. Is that you? Are you burnt out of your job? Are you burnt out of trying to give and serve everyone? Maybe that is the case. There's a few things I implore you today as we do our best to get our energy right. Yes, get your mind right, but get your energy right as well. It's important that you step away and get some, what we call my good friend, my mentor, Wayne Cotton, calls it mellow yellow time and blue sky time. Mellow yellow time is time away where you're in the mountains or you're on vacation and you can just be. Have you got your mellow yellow time scheduled? Maybe it's this week. Maybe it's next week. Get your mellow yellow time. And your blue sky time is your time away to work on you and your business. Okay? In my God-sized dreams planner, I call it your annual strategic plan. Your annual strategic plan is when you're working on yourself. Blue sky time is when you're working on you. Get a way to work on your business, work on your dreams, to work on yourself. And you're in your annual strategic plan. I want you to carve out this week, right now, this week, to work on you. It helps your energy. Now, let me ask you a question. What if your energy isn't right? What if right now your confidence isn't where you want it? Maybe your confidence has waned. Maybe your courage is down. Maybe your courage has waned. Maybe it's time to dive deeper into yourself. Maybe you need your faith to be amplified. And you're like, man, my faith has gone to hell, literally. Maybe my energy is down. For me personally, I know this. In 2021, as I shared about my back and I shared about when you're in pain, how sometimes your energy gets pulled down, that has allowed me to draw closer and nearer to my relationship with God. I want you to think about right now in your spiritual walk, in your faith walk, where your energy is at. Do you need to work out more? Do you need to make a, a recommitment to your own cleaning up your nutrition. Maybe you need to eliminate sugar from your diet or you need to get rid of the alcohol because the last few weeks, months, or even year, maybe you've drank more than you've wanted to. Maybe you're getting too many desserts after dinner because you believe you deserve them. What do you need to clean up in your nutrition? Maybe you need to eat more salad and more greens or you need to drink more water. Maybe you need to, to, to go back and listen to Robert Yang's episode about PFF, your proteins, fats, and fibers and getting back into improving your nutrition because we all know that nutrition and hydration and sleep and recovery play an imperative role in your energy. Energy makes the world go round. And if you're like, hey, yeah, Todd, your energy is always crazy high. No, it's not always crazy high. Even when I was hurt and I was injured and my back was killing, there were times when I was on the couch and feel like you had to peel me off. But when it's time to go, it's time to go. You do everything you can to amplify your workouts, your nutrition, your recovery. And let me encourage you also when it comes to your energy is to get out in nature. That's why several weeks ago when I was planning this trip to Montana, I know that I think biggest and I think best when I'm in the mountains. Where and when do you think best? Where and when do you operate at your highest vibration? Right now, if you're out walking the dog, you're out for a walk, or you're at the beach, you got your, your shoes off and your feet in the sand, or, or you're doing some snowshoeing through the snow, or you're out in your local park and you're hiking, get out in nature because nature has a way of healing the soul. Maybe it's even raining out or it's snowing out or it's sleeting out. Good. This is really good. It's good for your body. It's good for your mind. And it's great for your energy. So get your energy right. The one thing I've learned about 2021 is this. You got to check into your energy. Just like in my book, Get Your Mind Right, I talk about master your time, energy, and focus. Do what you got to do to get your energy right, whatever that takes. And number five, my fifth 
lesson of 2021 is this. It's all about heart and soul. It's all about heart and soul. How you show up to a podcast, how you show up to a live talk or a virtual talk, how you show up to a training session is absolutely everything, everything. So let me ask you the question right now. How is your heart and how is your soul? How is your spirit? Now, what if your heart is not right? What if you've had a hardened heart in 2021? Maybe you've had a setback in your heart. Maybe you've had a relationship that was broken. Maybe you've had a trying time with your spouse or your kids or someone in your organization. What if your spirit is down? What if your spirit is hurt? What if you've been whooped? What if you're tired? What if you're frustrated? What if you're burnt? What if, what if, what if you've been broken? My friends, today, it's time to resurrect. It's time to resurrect that spirit. It's time to lean into that spiritual being that's in there, that's being drowned out by all of the the energy vampires and the drains that happen in the outside world. It's time to give life to your spirit. It's time to feed your spirit. Because I believe that your heart and soul is everything. How you show up to your sessions, how you show up for your patients, how you show up to the talks, how you show up when you're in pain and you don't even feel like it. Sometimes you got to have a back brace on and they don't even know you're hurt and you're showing up because your heart and soul is on fire and you're like, we got this. 2021 as it draws to a close and I get ready to get on fire for 2022 because wait until you hear next week's episode about getting on fire in 2022. I'm going to say this, your heart and your soul is not taken from you until the day you die. And when the, you die, your heart and soul, that's how they're going to remember you. So my friends, as 2021, as you reflect and you resonate on this, is know this, my fifth and final point about it, it's all about heart and soul. Your heart and soul is still alive. And if you've been beaten, if you're in pain, if you're down, it's time to rise up. It's time to be resurrected with your heart, your soul, your mind, your body, whatever it takes. Because there are times when I've been broken in 2021. And until the day when I flatline and I'm dead, let me tell you what. And you hear that flicker, that beat, you're still alive. You still got it. You got me? You got it? You're still alive. So you take this week to get ready. You get ready for what's coming. And that's the opportunity for a new year, a new life, a new you, a God-sized dream that's inside of you that's going to be way bigger than anything you could ever imagine. I'll leave you with this. There was a point in 2021 where I was listening to Stephen Furtick, Pastor Stephen Furtick. And he said something in a sermon that made me think about something. And he said this, what if you haven't even met you yet. Goose bump moment. What if you haven't even met you yet? Oh, <laughs> think about that. Now, I believe I have a pretty darn good firm with who I am, but the way I interpreted that was this. The man I am today is not the man I'm going to be tomorrow or the man I'm going to be when I'm 25 years from now, when I'm age 75 and looking back on my life. I don't want to be that man that stays the same for the next 25 years. So what if you haven't even met you yet? What if the next version of me is even better than the last 25 years? What if the next version of you for the next one year, the next five years, the next 25 years is going to be even better than the version of the man or the woman that you are today? Day. Does that give you goosebumps like it gives me goosebumps? I call them goosebump moments. <laughs> what if the next 25 years are going to be even better than the last 25 years? Whatever that is. Jim Rome and I talked about this in the episode about this. There's energy shifts in life. Pastor, I call him pastor, but Dr. Wayne Dyer talks about energy shifts. Shift matters. I said shift matters. <laughs> shift matters. What if you've achieved massive success in your life or your career and you've asked yourself, there's got to be more. 
There's got to be more to life than, than these accolades and this success that other people deem me. What if God is saying there's more to you? Have you ever had that in the whispers of your own heart like I've had in the whispers of my own heart of like there's got to be more? God's calling me to do something even greater. Have you had these moments as a coach, as a trainer, as a physician, as a police officer, as a firefighter, as an attorney, as a mom or a dad? Have you had those moments where you've said to yourself, there's got to be more. God's calling me to do something even greater. I don't know what that is. I got to have patience in the gap. Oh yeah, I might be broken, but I'm also blessed. I got to get my energy right. I got to get my mind right. I got to have that heart and soul that matters. There's got to be more. What does God want me to do? What does the next year look like for me? What are the big five things in 2022 that are coming that I'm resonating on right now as 2021 comes to a tail end as I feel the blizzard cold in Montana? What's God calling me to do? Maybe the world doesn't see it, but God sees it. I don't even see it, but isn't that what faith is all about? Seeing and believing, even when you visually cannot see it? What do the next three years look like for you? How about the next decade? How about your life? What changes need to be made in your business, in your career, in your relationship, and most importantly, in yourself? What risks do you need to make and take in 2021 here and 2022 coming up? So when I reflect on 2021, it was even more challenging than 2020. Pain, change, energy levels, not where I always wanted them. But I can tell you what, broken or blessed, man, oh man, am I feeling blessed. Just coming off a state championship where for what seemed like a two-year season, these boys grinded. I'm talking grinded when no one else was watching. In the weight room, beach workouts, Stop, start, stop, start. No no game because of COVID. Cancellation. Let's go again. <laughs> so many epic podcast episodes. A new planner coming into 2022 that my team and I have been working on feverishly to get out so that people, you, you mind right maniacs, you fire breathing dragons can use some of the same systems that I use that God is calling me to, to use and to share so that you can live a life worth telling a story about. Retreats and all these different trips, a trip to the Jersey Shore, and yes, a trip to drop my son off to college at Davidson in North Carolina. Despite being in pain, we shift our mentality. You talk about get your mind right, getting your mind right. When your mind ain't right. I'll end it with this. On my last episode of 2021. Is you have your health? Did you listen to last week's episode with Mike Merrigan? Did you listen to that? If you have not listened to that, go back and listen. And you tell me you feel sorry for yourself. There's no time to feel sorry for yourself. Whether you lose a leg. You, 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 you have some back pain. Some knee pain. Some neck pain. Something happened in your family. If you got a pulse, you got life. That means 2022 is going to be coming up. The sun's coming up on December 31st and January 1st. It's coming up. And you got new life, baby. How's your family? Can you be a better mom? Can you be a better dad? Can you be a better husband? Or wife, where's your faith at? Are you putting your faith in the right people, the right things? Are you leaning into God right now like I had to lean into more in 2021 than ever in my life to get through? Where's your faith at? Faith, fitness, family, and fun. These are my lessons of 2021. Do me a favor. Share your top one or two lessons with me. I want to know with a podcast episode or an experience that you had in 2021 or a great monumental occasion that happened. Maybe it was a trip. Maybe an accolade that you've been shooting for for years. Maybe 
through this pandemic and COVID became a great blessing to you. Like I've shifted some of Fitness Quest 10 and some of the responsibility so that I could still lead at Fitness Quest 10, but I got my cohort, Jeff Bristol, helping me out. We got a great team. But as I get called to do greater things in 2022, and God puts a voice in my heart to impact you even greater and greater, I want to hear from you. Guess why? Because it's when I hear your voice, when it's I hear your lessons that you share with me about what you're doing in your life, that brings a flutter to my heart. When I see you living that life that you need and want to be living, please share them with me. Go to my social media, share them, drop them in the email. So my friends, As we get ready to put 2021 to bed, can I get a huge amen, hallelujah, because I will be leading the vocal core from the top of Whitefish Mountain. Trust me, I am going to be singing from Montana the joy in my heart. And not so much that 2021 is over, but more about the joy of what is about to come in 2022 and beyond. With that being said, From my team at Fitness Quest 10 and Todrick and Enterprises, who work their butts off year round to help bring these podcast episodes and the impact at the gym and and all the live events we do, I say thank you on behalf of them to you. And on top of that, my family, the Durkin family, I say Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and happy new year to you. 22 is almost here, baby. Buckle up your bootstraps because I got a great vision for these podcasts, all of the things that are about to come. So be sure to listen to next week's episode as well as I come back from Montana and get ready to get after it in 2022. Until next time, as 21 draws to a close, I must end this episode as I end most by saying this, train hard, eat right, and live inspired. God bless you all. 2021, adios, amigos. 22, I can't wait to see you. Peace and God bless.